also Railway Empire 2. That crappy video that I made about it. I'm gonna, you know, show you a bit more. You can like choose which uh, continent you can and you want to do, either Europe or America. You can do parts of it. I'm just showing it to you very quickly. You can just, you know, choose parts of it just like that. You know. And then you can just, you know, make your road networks there. I'm gonna be honest with you, this game is a good time killer for whenever City Skylines is not working properly. Or for, for whenever you want to play a different game such as Transport Fever. Which I think this game looks the most like. Like this game is literally your Transport Fever in a way. But you know around the 20th century. Which you could also do in Transport Fever. But the thing is is that the way you build there like the rails for example. I mean it's like you know you have to connect the dots in a way you know which is fun to do and if I'm going to go further you know like I let me show you a bit of credits in the end uh, the way I always edit it man but anyway if I show you a bit further I'm gonna show you a bit in game I'm going to make uh, take the plane of Europe and uh, you know I show you what you can do a bit you know here's the credits <laughs> I don't know, just a small part. Oh, and I love, by the way, those flags. Do you see those Dutch flags? That's great. So, wherever you are, wherever you start, so if you start in Spain, you would have a Spanish flag. If you start in Great Britain, you have a British flag. Anywhere, where you go. You know, and you can use your camera like this, you can, you know, kind of drive cap with it. You can see what's going on. Also, it's kind of scary that most of these people look the same. These people are quite generic looking, in my opinion. You know, a lot of twins and they all look the same and it's like... Horror horrific. <laughs> but anyway... Yeah, it's like all these special cars as well that you can choose and stuff. It's great. I, I made a big map though, like for real, I already... I do sandbox because it's like better. I, I, I don't know, it's just unlimited money. Look at what I already done. And this is just only part. I'm just gonna show you. Look here, there's all the like here's the controls of your train. You can go into cap mode if you want. You know, like you can delete it. You know, all these things edited, edit line and stuff. You know. These things you can do. You know, and here's all your other company and test list, tips and tricks, multiplayer, game menu, and here's the game speed. Additional overlays, flow of goods, city lists, and real lines here. You can just like see where your real lines here's your city list. You can go to every city like that. You know, like you can choose Arbiton and then it's going straight towards there. You know, so that you can do some things up there, you know. So that's pretty handy stuff there. So yeah, I've been uh, already uh, building this all that stuff. If you connect from from station to station, which you have to place, you know, there's my chain doing its thing. Test train though, like for real, like it's gonna be a lot of test things, and you will along the way you will like earn money a bit. But most of it is testing because you have to place all these important buildings, such as you know, uh, these, these surface buildings and stuff, you know, that can uh, help repairing your train because your, your train will break down, that's why. So you need, you know, also the refueling stations and stuff, you know, in order to actually make them, uh, you know, because these are water based. <laughs> so, you know, like, it needs, it needs some water outside of coal, you know, so refueling and all that stuff, needs. these are the special cars and stuff. It's handy, it, it brings some more money and stuff. You know, lots of information about the train. Release year is 1911, for example, just before the war. Oh, and we're already in 1916, so we're in the middle of the war. <laughs> you know, that's pretty cool. I think you hear all, even a little bit of war sounds. It's pretty fun. You know, here's your mini map. You can see your mini map. You can go over it and click every city if you want to. You know, you can see what you, what's going on, like this is the Netherlands, this is Great Britain, France, 
you know, Spain, underneath here. This is my old video, yeah. I thought it was just fun to show you how, how it was without clipping it. You know, I, I most of the time just clip a lot in order to uh, make it cool looking, but I'm gonna be honest with you, the music sometimes in my videos sounds dreadful. But sometimes it sounds good. It depends a bit. Like, I, I'm always a little bit like, you know, um, muffling around with, with, uh, with, with those sounds and stuff, you know, slowing it down. So, see if I can make my own composition of it. So, if it sounds dreadful, I'm sorry, man. Like, for real. I'm trying to make something out of it. Sometimes I make my own music, you know, but it's often that I just, you know, use copyright material, yes, but I slow it down. It, it goes under the radar because of that. You know, and mostly it sounds then differently, you know, this is how I mostly use, you know, all my, um, feed all my music. I'm just le letting, letting you know, you know, so that, uh, because people were asking about it and I'm like, you know, this is how I, how I use it. I use, by the way, a tube to get all my music, you know, but I can use my own music. I'm, I use footy loops for my own music and stuff. If I actually want to make my own music, I can, you know, like... I mastered a couple of musics, you know, like as well, so if it is sounding like something, you know, some of the music, like for example, the music that I had in, uh, in Pirates, you know, like for example, the one of Hans Zimmer, about this, the, 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 this uh, pirate a little boy singing, you know, I own that music, just, just because of, I can play it now, <laughs> so yeah, and if I just make it as my own, it's, you know, it's still completely different and stuff, it's common creative and you know fair use in a way because I do a lot of creative things with my videos I'm trying to make cinematics and stuff and you know if I ever want to review then I review of course you know but most of my channel is just you know bound on to make cinematic videos and I have to think slow down and cut and all that stuff to make it you know right looking but not all my projects are the, are the successful thing and I understand that you know, some things just, just, just don't sound that well and stuff. I'm sorry for that, but, you know, you need to do what some do something, you know, in order to, you know, make your stuff good looking. Anyway, that's the end of my video. See you guys later.